cool, Danny. It's cold, but it's <laughs> <laughs> um, We have a big population of mantas around Kida, around 700 individuals wow. involved in the database so far. Oh, wow. Um, and they use the two different areas at different life stages and for different things. Yeah, Manta Bay is an area where they use for feeding, and there you see the majority there are juveniles. Uh, Manta Point is an area where the mantis is used for cleaning uh, and it's uh, socializing and yeah. mating trains and stuff here. And it's uh, more mature mantis here. Oh. Uh, Manta Bay, we see majority male, we see majority female, unless oh. there's a mating train, and then it's one female and the next one Um so is this mating season? Uh, it's right? normally peaking in around May. Oh, but you can May. see last time we saw the trains actually here. Yeah. Oh okay. so, yeah, you never know. We've seen them in August and September before too. Um so um why do mantas need to come to cleaning stations? So mantas cannot clean themselves. Mantas are negatively buoyed, which means they cannot stop swimming. Yeah, oh, so if they okay. stop swimming they sink to the bottom and then they can't breathe. So they swim all the time. Um, so they have to have the help of cleaner fishes to clean off the parasites from their skin, yep. to clean inside their mouths, clean inside their gills, and different fishes do different jobs. Manta rays are uh, very clean. They like to clean for around eight hours a day. Eight hours a yeah. day, wow. <laughs> so this doesn't mean that they go to one place to clean and just stay there the whole okay. time. They'll visit it throughout the day, swimming in and out and in and out like this. Okay. Uh, so these cleaning stations are coral bodies. Yeah. Okay. So there's several throughout the site, and we will point them out to you as we go past them. Um, but basically, let's say this is um, a cleaning station. Yeah. The man will swim around it like this, coming in and out, in and out, okay. and then the cleaning fish will hop on, and then they'll hop off when they're done cleaning. And the man might come back later, or he might go to a different cleaning station. Um, so the area is pretty big. This whole bay. All the way around yep. this big stack over here is actually two sites, so East Manta Point and Manta Point. Um, both of them are used by mantas for cleaning. So we're going to concentrate in this area here. So you see straight ahead from where I'm pointing here, right at the cliff, you have that big rock sticking yep. out, so it forwards. Yep. So right in front of that, kind of underneath it, is the biggest cleaning station. Oh. It's very shallow on the top, so at the moment it's low tide, so it'll be around one meter under the water. It's going down to around nine meters. Huge, huge boulder. Oh. Around it are lots of other smaller boulders, which are the cleaning stations. And coming out from that is a big flat coral plateau. Okay. And probably about where we are now, it drops off. So it has a mini wall and it drops off to about 27, 28 meters. Okay. To a sandy channel that runs, kind of divides the two areas of Manta Point and East Manta Point. I see. It's really funky topography. It's much flatter than the northern coast, so it doesn't uh -huh. feel like you're swimming down a slope. It feels yeah. like you're going along a flat but it is gradually sloping. Um, here it's very rare to have current, but we have waves, which means we have surge. Yeah? Yep. So this is the motion of the waves moving you back and forth, so yep. it's predictable. Yep. So you know if you're going to go forwards, it will bring you back a little bit. Yep. So when we're swimming around the dive site, just watch what Intan is doing and when she is swimming. Yeah. Because if the, the surge is pulling you back, you're not going to win against it. Just let it do it and then swim with the surge when it's pushing you the way you want to go. As we're swimming across the surge, so let's say the surge is doing this and we want to do this, it will move you side to side. Okay. Yeah, so when you're diving with surge, just be mindful of things and people around you. Yeah. So you don't want to be too close with your buddy because you can bump them, and you don't want to be too close with a rock, boulder, coral bomb me because you can also bump that okay. yeah, in the surge. Um, it's not super strong though today, but okay. you will, there's always some to come out. Jadi jangan lupa kalau diving di uh, temperatur air yang dingin 
Kalau saya sendiri di suhu 20 derajat seperti ini Rekomendasinya adalah menggunakan wetsuit yang full dan minimal 5 mili 3 mili itu masih berasa dingin ya Terutama kepala saya yang botak ini cepat sekali kehilangan panas tubuh ya Jadi uh, usahakan juga kalau bisa menggunakan hoodie supaya uh, hangat gitu Tapi ya tergantung lah Ada juga yang nggak merasakan apa-apa dengan suhu seperti ini Jadi kembali lagi ke orangnya masing-masing oke okay? Reni Hihui Manta trennya ada 9 Wih, Baru pertama kali Lihat beginian Aduh seneng banget 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 banget
Wah, ada suara misterius. Sahabat tuh manggil-manggil nih. Ini banyak diver di daerah sini guys. Maklum ini site yang paling favorit di Nusa Penida.
Manta race Manta race ini adalah hewan yang besar ya Ini beratnya bisa mencapai dengan 2 ton Dan lebar, lebar manta race ini sendiri bisa sampai dengan 9 meter Ini yang saya lihat ini lebarnya mungkin 2 meter atau 2 meter setengah ya Jadi ini sama aja seperti kayak selebar mobil ya Wow Dan uh, mereka ini gak berbahaya buat divers Cuma mereka ini sangat-sangat curious ya Mereka ya sangat pengen tahu gitu Terutama kalau ada divers dan lain-lain mereka biasanya suka mendekat Memang SOP-nya untuk diving dengan mantari ini juga Walaupun dia nggak boleh kita terlalu dekat dengan mereka Ya kalau mereka yang datang it's okay Tapi jangan dikejar ya guys
Oke, okay, kita sekarang sedang menyelam di Crystal Bay. Crystal Bay ini adalah rumah mola-mola di Nusa Penida. Jadi kalau ingin cari mola-mola, ya kita harus menyelam di sini. Mola-mola ini sendiri adalah ikan di perairan dalam. Biasanya mereka bermain-main di kedalaman sekitar ratusan, 100-200 meter. Tapi uh, untuk Uh, nemuin mereka kita cukup menunggu di cleaning stationnya jadi mereka kadang-kadang naik ke atas untuk berjemur ya sunbasking untuk recharging uh, badan mereka karena di dalam sana dingin suhunya mereka berjemur sebentar atau mereka membersihkan diri mereka dari parasit ya uh, di cleaning station sama seperti manta tadi dan uh, lokasinya ini sendiri adalah tepat berada di bawah pulau yang ada pura yang tadi kalau kita lihat di drone uh, footage uh, sebelumnya ya dan lokasi ini sangat berbahaya sekali uh, karena ini tidak disarankan untuk uh, beginner uh, karena cukup unpredictable jadi arusnya kadang-kadang cukup uh, keras terutama di semenanjung di sekitar yang uh, pulau yang ada pura yang tadi itu itu cukup uh, unpredictable kadang-kadang kalem kadang-kadang bisa seperti bisa pumping atau sampai dengan uh, washing machine style ya karunnya uh, jadi ya kita mesti selalu siap dan hati-hati di sini ya.
kita cukup beruntung karena kita ketemu mola-mola di kedalaman 22,2 meter sangat-sangat cetek ya untuk ukuran mola-mola biasanya mereka lebih dalam sedikit di sekitar 27 meter tapi kita nggak perlu uh, sampai ke sana karena mereka sudah hanging di sini sudah santai oh iya mola-mola ini kalau pada saat mereka dibersihkan oleh ikan-ikan pembersih itu mereka seperti trans ya dalam keadaan trans mereka seperti nggak ingat apa-apa tapi sama saja SOP nya diver tidak boleh mendekati mola-mola ini terlalu dekat karena mereka ini adalah ikan yang pemalu dan juga kita nggak mau mengganggu aktivitas mereka jadi jangan dikejar cukup lihat dari jarak yang propernya Mola-mola ini juga sangat besar sekali ya kawan-kawan Jadi ini adalah the biggest bony fish in the world Saya nggak tahu artinya apa dalam bahasa Indonesia Tapi yang pasti ini ikan bertulang yang besar mungkin seperti itulah Ini sangat besar dan ini bobotnya bisa mencapai 2 ton juga Dan rentang dari fin ke finnya itu bisa mencapai 4 meter ya Bayangkan besar sekali Seperti yang saya bilang sebelumnya bahwa lokasi ini cukup unpredictable Jadi pada saat kami menuju ke lokasi tempat cleaning stationnya mola-mola Tidak ada arus sama sekali guys Jadi enak banget Tapi ternyata setelah beberapa saat kita melihat mola-mola di sini, Intan dive master saya langsung memberi kode Boom 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 Bahwa arus sudah mulai pumping Jadi kita harus kembali lagi Dan benar sekali saudara-saudara pada saat jalan pulang arusnya sudah mulai lumayan kencang kita kicking non-stop 20 menit sampai di exit point saya menghabiskan banyak sekali udara di sini jadi memang uh, air management harus sangat-sangat meticulous di sini selalu sedia spare dan juga dan juga selalu patuhi arahan dive master ketika saatnya pulang let's go cabut jangan tunda lagi
Oke okay, berhubung durasi juga yang memisahkan kita Sampai ketemu lagi di perjalanan berikutnya Terima kasih sudah menonton Bye bye